Good morning. We didn't do anything yesterday after after Whitney. We just slept all day. And this morning we are walking back to the red line. We're gonna try to get up to the uh, Forester Pass approach or do it depending on the weather and how we feel. It's 13 to the peak of Forester from where we're walking right now. So it's definitely doable, but the snow situation is gonna be the wild card. And Forester Pass is the highest point on the PCT. I think it's 13.2. So we just did Whitney yesterday. That was 14.4, 14.5. So it's lower than what we did yesterday, but it's still a hard, a hard challenge for the day. So either way, if we get to the base or if we do it, we'll uh, we'll keep everybody updated. We are still kind of swapping back to day shift versus being nocturnal yesterday. Uh, I think most of us are still kind of tired, but Beck slept. <laughs> I slept from the time we got down from Whitney to this morning at like 7.10, so. Yeah, she slept for like 20 hours. It was, <laughs> that was crazy. I'm sure she feels very rested and very good. So that's good. That's the plan. We'll, uh, we'll see y'all out there. We made it back to the red line. It's like overcast today, like a proper overcast day. It's kind of cold still. It's like 9 a.m. And I don't see any blue. I hope it doesn't rain, but the overcast might actually help the snow on Forester stay more firm and be easier to walk in. So that's a silver lining. But yeah, if you stop moving, you get cold pretty quick. So motivation to keep walking. It'll be a sweat free day, I think. It's still really pretty out here. When we summited Whitney yesterday, we carried our backpacks, but took out everything we didn't need. So our bags weighed like four or five pounds. It was so nice. The heaviest thing was the bag itself. So now we've got everything back in, the bear can, the sleeping bag, all the other heavy stuff. Definitely feeling it a lot more than we did yesterday, but I'm surprised how fast uh, my legs and Rebecca's legs have bounced back after just being gassed yesterday getting off of Whitney but I mean we both feel pretty good today the sore like blisters on Rebecca's feet are still bothering her but the muscles are feeling really good like I think we've definitely got the trail legs which is awesome because we got big mountains ahead of us This water is painfully cold. Fresh snow melt. Is that cold? Get a little deep. There's a trout right here. Yeah, there are fish everywhere in here. If I had to catch some lunch. Oh my God. Oh, that water hurts. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> that is cold. Yeah, that, that, that did not feel good at all. No. Lucky's just running. You gotta be careful if you're running. You might slip. Oh, he's got a shower shoes. Okay. Man. Ooh. ID. On a personal spot, Somebody need you. It's not this one? No, this one more. It's Tingle Creek. But that could be a few days ago. Before Forrester? Yeah. Oh, what? It's like in like three or four miles. Only true men carry their wife's bag across the river. Oh yeah, what a hero. Good job, what a hero. He even came back to get me.
as the day is progressing on, the clouds are getting much darker. So I think collectively as a group, we're deciding to do Forester Pass in the morning instead of today. We think that that might be a safer bet just because we don't want to get up there and it storm on us and we get stuck up there. So safe bet, do it in the morning. These clouds are looking a little ridiculous. so unreal. 360 views, snowy mountains, insane. There's a, there's a pika right there. So for a little bit, the PCT actually merges with the John Muir Trail. So technically, we are hiking two through hiking trails at once, right? We all made it across that river safely. Uh, that was very scary, honestly. Um, we did it barefoot just so we had like a better foot grab, foot grip, but that was still, still a little scary. I'm thankful that Chris was able to carry my bag across and then come back and kind of like help me like shimmy through and give me like pointers and stuff like that. So really thankful for that. I, I don't think I would have been able to do that by myself. So for lunch, I made right rice with refried beans. I have a Nor packet of vegetable soup mix in here. And that is lunch. Super good, super vegan, awesome. So we are in our tent. We did not do Forester Pass today. Um, the plan is to get up really early in the morning and do it tomorrow. Um, I guess the group just decided that the weather looked too bad. It ended up being a really beautiful day after the clouds kind of like dispersed away, but we had already had our tent set up and... Right. Yeah, just... you can never tell. Up here, the mountains kind of make their own weather. So it was probably the safe call. It looked like it was going to rain. Turned out mm -hmm. it didn't rain. But now we know, I mean, the sky's pretty clear now, so tomorrow should be really nice. Yeah, we had like four river crossings today, so that was really yeah. cool. Um, big, biggest challenge I'm facing right now is my shoes. I'm having really bad time walking because I'm in so much pain, but I think whenever we get to Bishop, we might be switching out my shoes <laughs> so I can walk again. Uh, my whole foot is just covered in Luco tape because I'm having blisters like crazy. Yeah, we got big plans for all the different things we need to do once we get to Bishop, which is not going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow yeah. we're going up and over Forrester. And then we're going to go up and over Kearsarge. Yeah, Kearsarge the day, the day after. after. 
uh, Pony Boy's friend is going to pick us up at the trailhead and take us into Bishop, which is awesome. That saves us a lot of time with trying to hitch. And yeah. I think Bishop is quite a quite a ways away. So. Right. Yeah, that's the that's the plan uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, I would like to get up and over Forester. Yeah. And as close to Kearsarge as possible. There's a couple nice creeks and a couple lakes that we could possibly camp by. So that'd be pretty cool if we can get there. Um, and then it's a short day the day after that. Otherwise it's a, like a nine mile day. Yeah. Ideally you get to town before it's too late, but we'll see. We'll see how, how the group does and how we feel and everything. But Yeah, I am ready to get to town. This is what uh, 10 days without a shower looks like. That's oh, so. pretty good though. <laughs> Whatever. I am ready to take a shower and be a normal person again. <laughs> yeah, the tomorrow morning we're getting up early. Set an alarm for 5:30 so we can get up up and over Forester before the snow gets too soft. Yeah, hopefully we can glissade down though. That That'll would be, be so really nice. fun. We have a couple thousand feet off of Forester, very very steep, and if you can slide, it's much better on your knees than walking. So, <laughs> but also kind of a little scary. A little but scary. It'll be fun. We'll have our ice axe in hand for a break if we need it. Yeah. We're going to hit the sack, though. Go to bed early, get up early. Yep, that's the plan. Good night.